Ladies and gentlemen, we are back with the, another video of the Arizona Sports Fan. Thank you so very much for coming back, guys. I really do appreciate it. Now, today, what I wanted to talk about is who I think is going to be the next breakout player for the 2020 Arizona Cardinals going into their second year. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Roll that intro. guys now like I mentioned in the intro today what we're gonna talk about is who I think is going to be the next breakout player going into the 2020 season just FYI we're only talking about players that are going into their second year with the Arizona Cardinals now obviously what I mean by that is going to be the players that were drafted in the 2019 draft that's what we're going to talk about today. Before we jump into that, I want to give a big shout out to all the channel members that have basically joined the community and became a channel member. We just got a brand new member. His name is Subatomic Shrimp. I'm going to have the list right here. Thank you so very much for all you guys do. You guys help the channel grow. You don't have to be a member to help the channel grow. All you need to do is drop a like and it helps the channel grow uh, tremendously. So I appreciate every single one of you guys. All right, guys, so now on to the topic of choice here. So what? how I'm going to do this video is I'm going to go ahead and exclude Kyler Murray from Bruh. this list. Now, obviously, Kyler Murray is our quarterback of the future. I think he is going to have a great breakout season, but I'm not going to include him in here because I just feel like it's too easy. Instead, we're going to talk about the rest of the draft picks and who I feel like is going to have the best breakout season. And what I mean by that is going to be the player that's going to have the most snaps, uh, just have more of the opportunity to be on the field, and who I want the... Uh, the 2020 breakout season player to be. And what I mean by that is because I want to have a solidified position for the future. So let's go ahead and jump into it here. Obviously, we know who the Arizona Cardinals drafted in 2019. But let's first start off of who I want to have the best um, the breakout season for the 2020 Cardinals here. I want Byron Murphy to have a breakout season like no other. I mean, it's been long overdue for us to get a cornerback opposite side of Patrick Peterson. I mean, the last time we had it was probably Antonio Cromartie, which best having them both back there was kind of like a tandem like we haven't seen in quite some time um that's what i want i want byron murphy to have a breakout season like like we haven't seen um he's going into a sophomore year he had some flashes but he also had some weaknesses now i'm not going to go ahead and completely judge byron murphy based off of his uh rookie year because we also know that when Patrick Peterson had his rookie year. He also had some woes and had some mistakes uh, throughout his rookie year as well. So Byron Murphy is kind of in that same boat. Now, the only thing I can go ahead and say that might not help out Byron Murphy is going to be that Robert Alfred is coming back from a leg injury that he was held out the entirety of the 2019 season. So that's the only really roadblock I see for Byron Murphy not getting all the snaps that I want him to get because uh, Robert Alfred is coming back. So I don't really know what the intention for the Arizona Cardinals are going to do. If they're going to make Robert Alfred the second cornerback and having Byron Murphy in the slot or if they're going to have, you know, Byron Murphy as a second cornerback position covering the outside and having Robert Alford in the slot. Now, my personal opinion, I think it's going to be Robert Alford on the outside, Patrick Peterson on the other side, and then covering the slot, I do think it's going to be Byron Murphy. Now, I don't want that, but I think that's the way that the Arizona Cardinals are going to go, like the route that they're going to take. Um, now, I think it's going to be really depending on training cap and who wins that position as a second cornerback. Uh, I want it to be Byron Murphy because obviously he's a second round pick. He's a young talent out there. He's still in his rookie deal. Have him like, you know, get better and blossom into the second cornerback that we have opposite side of Patrick Peterson. That's just overall good news to have a young talent back there and not having to worry, you know, about that cornerback position in, you know, two to three years. Um, just kind of having a solidified spot back there. Now, it really depends on what happens with Patrick Peterson. Um, I personally don't think he's going to go anywhere. Um, I think Steve Kimes intention is to re-sign him and have him retire as an Arizona Cardinal, but it really depends on how this season shakes up. If we have another abysmal season that uh, Patrick Peterson doesn't feel like we're being competitive enough to hit the playoffs, then at that point, I can also see another, another trade rumor going out there from Patrick Peterson, but uh, that's neither here nor there. So the player that I want to have a breakout season is going to be none other than Byron Murphy. Just to recap, the player that I want to have the best uh, breakout season for the Arizona Cardinals 2020 going into their second year is going to be none other than Byron Murphy, second round pick in the 2019 draft. Now switching over here, who I 
think is going to be the uh, the breakout player for the 2020 Arizona Cardinals going into their second year. Now, a lot of people might say, hey, Andy Isabella, um, Hakeem Butler is going to have a breakout season. This is all going to be fine and dandy. But honestly, with the acquisition of DeAndre Hopkins, I don't see that happening because in my mind, I see DeAndre Hopkins being number one. I see Christian Kirk being number two and Larry Fitzgerald being in the slot. Now, we can go ahead and go back and forth and say, no, Larry Fitzgerald is going to be on the outside and Christian Kirk is going to be on the slot. Whatever the situation is, our top three wide receivers is going to be that list. Um, DeAndre Hopkins, Fitz, and Christian Kirk. So that leaves a little bit room to be like, who's going to be our fourth wide receiver? Now, I do think that's going to be Isabella. Now, as of right now, as long as we play, you know, that, that four receiver package, I do think Andy Isabella is going to be out there. Do I feel like Cliff Kingsbury is going to get Andy Isabella more involved in the offense? Heck yeah, I really do think so. I mean, if he doesn't, then Steve Kime is going to get more flat for not getting DK Metcalf and getting Andy Isabella for that second second round pick that we got uh, for trading Josh Rosen. There's other people saying that, hey, I want, you know, Hakeem Butler to be on the field too. I mean, obviously I want Hakeem Butler and Keyshawn Johnson to be on the field as well, but it's going back to that same situation with um, adding DeAndre Hopkins. I don't see a, a lot of room there for more wide receivers to kind of poke their head in there and you know get more production do i want it yes obviously i want production from all our players but real world we're, we're just not gonna that's not gonna happen unless we get some injuries in the wide receiving court then i can really see um either andy isabella Keyshawn johnson or Keem butler's getting into that spot and hopefully getting um you know getting some some playing time on the field but the player that i really do think is going to have a um a breakout season or having a solidified spot in that team is going to be none other than Jalen Thompson. Now he was uh, drafted from the supplemental draft um, this couple years back. Now I do think that Jalen Thompson did shine this 2019 season. He was the safety back there opposite side of Buda Baker. Now I really do like Jalen Thompson. He had some flashes. He had some great plays. Um, he has gotten burnt a couple times, but he was going into his rookie year. So like you can't really judge a lot from a player, you know, being a rookie. He's learning. He's in the process. He's He's gone from the collegiate level to the uh, NFL level, which is pretty much night and day. So I don't really blame him too much, but I do think he's going to get a lot of looks, um, a lot of reps back there with, uh, with Buda Baker. And honestly, I'm really excited about that. Um, now, one of the main reasons why I do feel like it's going to be Jalen Thompson over Deontay Thompson. He drafted as a, uh, I believe it was like a fifth round pick in the 2019 draft. I think it's going to be more Jalen because Jalen had a little bit more um, time back there, a little bit more time to gel with the secondary. So I think that Jalen just going to have more time back there. And with him getting more reps and with him getting a, a second year uh, defensive coordinator coming back with the same scheme, with the same uh, verbiage, all that different stuff is just going to help the young player out coming into his second year. So I'm really excited to see Jalen Thompson back there opposite side of uh, Buda Baker. Um, so we'll basically have uh, Patrick Peterson, Buda Baker, best two players back there. And I think it's going to be Robert Alfred on the opposite side. And I do think it's going to be Jalen Thompson. So just to recap, the player that I want to have a breakout season, is going to be none other than Byron Murphy, who I think is going to have the best... Um, breakout season is going to be none other than Jalen Thompson because he's going to have all the reps back there that he possibly can to get himself comfortable with everything that's going on. Now, a lot of people have forgotten about Zach Allen. I really do hope Zach Allen has a really great season um, as well. We can use a lot more, you know, help within the defensive line. Um, yeah, I do know we got Jordan Phillips. Uh, we got, you know, Rashad Lawrence, as well as uh, Lakai Fotu um, in the draft. But all the help we could possibly get, is, especially in the, the interior defensive line, uh, we can use all the help we possibly can. So um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm really curious to find out who you guys think is going to be the, uh, the best breakout player, who you guys want to have the best breakout season as well. Definitely put two names on the comments below. Put who I want and who I think. Just so we can get a little bit more people talking about in the comments below. If you've been hovering over the channel and have not hit that subscribe button please consider subscribing hit 2500 subscribers hopefully by the the end of this week and 3000 subscribers by the beginning of the season now we're gonna have such a great season that i feel like once the season starts the subscribe count is gonna skyrocket i 100 percent believe that so guys you guys are just catching this channel before it hits big so guys thank you so very much for watching um like i mentioned before i really appreciate every single one of you drop a like drop a comment and if you're new, please consider subscribing. That's all I got for this episode, guys. Thank you so very much. I'm out. Thank you.